Hello everyone, this is PK Entertainment and we are back again and here now we have another video for you and we're going to talk about Avatar The Way of the Water, the recent trailer and whether there is actually any hype going on into the sequel. Now there might be spoilers throughout for the first film during this video so just beware when watching it. Now Avatar The Way of the Water is the sequel of course to the first movie directed by James Cameron from 2009 which went on to become the highest grossing movie of all time with $2.7 billion worldwide. Now was briefly surpassed by Avengers Endgame in 2019 before regaining the top spot falsely in my opinion with several re-releases since its original debut. Now the first film was set in a science fiction futuristic era on a planet known as Pandora where we saw the alien race known as the Na'vi having to fight off human invaders who were looking to extract the planet's resources. Fueled by the revolutionary 3D technology, the film briefly changed the movie industry with the use of the format, but since then the film really hasn't left any sustained legacy in terms of the characters or the story, and for such a long time it has really been forgotten about in terms of any movie talk or debate. It never really gets mentioned amongst any top 100 lists or any polls regarding the greatest movies of all time. And I think that raises the dilemma once again of what's more important, a film that makes lots of money or a film that creates a certain legacy and lasting impact within popular culture. And in this regard, Avatar definitely falls into the former. So when it comes to the sequel then, the question is raised, does anybody actually care about the movie? With only a month to go till the movie releases on December the 16th, 2022, I have to say there's been very little hype or excitement this time around. We've had a teaser trailer that was released a couple of months ago and it basically looks like an HD upgrade of the first film, offering nothing standout or anything different. So we then talk about the recent trailer which dropped today on the 2nd of November 2022 and I just have to be honest, it left absolutely no impression on me whatsoever. Yes, we had lots of nice little sequences of the Naive swimming underwater, coming across certain plant life, they're riding across certain animals above the water and swimming underneath the water. We have certain big whales leaping in the air. We have some nice environments. We have the floating rocks again of the landscapes, what we saw from the first film. We had some very nice humming, calming, soothing music, which gave the whole thing more of a resemblance of an underwater documentary rather than an actual movie itself. But the problem is we've seen all of this before in the first film. If you told me that this was the trailer of an extended edition of the first movie, I would have completely believed you. Now as mentioned before, the first film the visuals were deemed groundbreaking at the time of its release, but now this time they just feel very ordinary and indifferent. And to be fair, this is somewhat to be expected, after 10 years plus from the first film, we've seen many advancement of CGI motion capture and effects, so the whole lustre of the Avatar aesthetic is definitely diminished since the first time. Now from what I can tell, there seems to be somewhat of a family dynamic going on here, with the Jake character played by Sam Worthington, teaching his daughter it seems on lessons around the planet, we see him showing her how to shoot the bow and arrow, we see other scenes where she's learning to I think interpret the spirits of the planet, we saw that narrative play out in the first film where she's touching certain plant life and lying on the ground and I think hearing the spirits or the heartbeat of the world, something like that. We have other scenes where it looks as if there's some sort of dispute or a civil war brewing with another tribe. I don't think we're going to get the same dynamic as the first film in terms of the human invasion. In fact, we had very little human characters within this trailer. And in many ways, I can understand that because they don't want to exactly replicate the plot from the first film. But it's just all so vague from the trailer that we've seen so far. Now, of course, I'm not expecting the trailer to spoil the whole movie. And I think we get far too many trailers and TV spots these days in terms of films. But for a movie that's what 12 to 13 years in waiting from the first film all this hype around James Cameron making multiple Avatar sequels you'd want a bit more context or substance to get excited for and I just don't see it here I just don't see any hype or any interest regarding this movie from this particular trailer it's just not there in my opinion now whether we'll get another trailer between now and the film's overall release we'll wait and see and hopefully the movie is saving something truly spectacular for the film, especially at that 3 hour and 10 minute runtime, which has just got me so worried when going to watch the film. Now despite being so negative so far, I'm still of the belief that Avatar will still go on to become at the very least the second highest grossing movie of the year. That position of course is still held by Top Gun Maverick, currently standing at $1.4 billion worldwide. 
and I think like the first film which really felt more like a theme park that you had to just experience there will be enough curiosity from general audiences to generate enough box office receipts for this film to be deemed a success now I'm almost certain that we won't see the 2 billion plus take of the first film as the dazzle of the first film and the 3D format has definitely gone now I'd probably go for anything from around 1.5 to 1.8 billion worldwide but again we will see what happens when the film overall releases as far as I know there are no limitations in terms of territories so normally now in terms of the big budget films many of them have been restricted from China I don't think those constraints relate to Avatar so there'll be no problem or issues I think in terms of it reaching wide territories for its overall release and who knows the film may go on to be one of the best of the year and generate much excitement and investment for many multiple sequels which to be honest will be completely reliant on how well this one performs at the box office so if you're someone who is excited at the prospect of revisiting pandora then more power to you i'm not going to judge anybody who has a lot of hype and as I said before, we could go into the movie and come out experiencing one of the best films of recent years. But from what I've seen from the two trailers now so far, I'm very doubtful about that prospect. Again, I just can't see any excitement, not only in terms of the visuals, which just replicate the first film, but also more importantly, in terms of the story and the characterization. And those were the two of the biggest flaws in terms of the first film. And one of the biggest reasons I think as to why it hasn't really gained any reference after its release because none of the story of the characters really connected with audiences or left a lasting impact and that's probably my biggest worry again that i think overall avatar the way of the water will go on to be financially successful but like the first film i just don't think it will leave any legacy or impact or impression regarding its story or its universe but i'm more than happy to be proven wrong when the film releases next month and of course when the film does release I will of course provide non-spoiler and spoiler reviews and do any commentary regarding the performance of the film at the box office. So look out for all of that content coming up within the future. So those are my overall thoughts and feelings on the first real big trailer for Avatar The Way of the Water the sequel to the massive film from 2009. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you have a lot of hype and excitement for this film? Do you think there was anything interesting within this trailer that you think I might have missed? If that's the case, then also let me know in the comments and we can have further debate. Or do you think this film will largely perform much less than the first film, given the fact that it's 10 years plus since the first one and that many of the spectacular awe of the effects has been largely diminished? And do you think this may perhaps be one of the biggest flops of 2022? Let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you have any other subjects or topics or films or movies or television series that you'd like to see me cover within the channel, then also let me know and I will see if I can provide further commentary for you on that subject matter within the future. Please also hit and like the subscription and notification buttons so I can provide you with more high quality content like this in the future. But that's it for now. Take care of yourselves and I will see you very, very soon. <laughs>